previously on Train Simulator 2019. 133! 133 miles an hour! Let's see how fast it does stopping. Oh, and lovely. <laughs> we've had a derailment. Oh my lord. The whole train actually come off. Oh my lord. Bad for the first class passengers. <laughs> oh my, but the standard class ones are still on the track except for the leading two and the 91. Westman's Royal Productions here and welcome back so as you can see on the first part before I started my role on the intro we saw what we did in the previous episode so we went out with the class 91 uh, locomotive uh, and did some brake testing but yeah obviously as you saw in that previous moment I had a, a crash Long. anyways today we're going to be driving a different locomotive so, I'm going to give you a chance now, pause the video, have a guess which one I'm driving. Is it going to be the 3 on 5, a 3 2 1, the 390, or 313? Now, it won't be the 91 because the 91 is now excluded from it, so the 91 won't be featured in today's episode. So, as you've paused the video, I'm going to now reveal today's locomotive. And the locomotive today is a class 321 which is this one over here that's going to be today's locomotive so if you guess this locomotive then you are correct anyways jumping into the cab let's get everything set up so playing to neutral reset AWS okay I'm gonna put this on so it makes it easier turn off the drive a reminder appliance because don't need that um, next I'm going to release the brakes forwards ok, part of the way put the windows down ok, windows are down Okay, and we're uh, start heading out for the test track. So, like we did in the previous episode, we're going to do three laps, and hopefully not derail this time. Uh, and what we'll do is we're going to test the emergency brake in, and we're going to see how quick the emergency brake takes to stop. But anyway, I'm going to mute my mic until we get out onto the test track.
Okay, so, as soon as it goes up to 130 miles an hour, as it has now, I can now go straight to full power. And let's see what this train can do. Now I'm going to make sure everything's all set so we don't have another derailment. Okay, off we go. I believe the maximum speed of this unit is 75 miles an hour. I believe that's what it actually is. 75 miles an hour. I believe that's what it is. Um, oh no, it's actually 100 miles an hour. The maximum speed of this unit is actually 100. Okay. So it's maximum speed is 100 miles an hour. Anyway. Anyway, now. Um, build up speed, we'll see how far, fast we can go after 100 miles an hour. But anyway, we've made it already to 57 miles an hour, which is pretty good. Now we've made it to 60. So, let's see how quick this class 321 can do. Obviously, don't worry, we'll have chance for thumbnail shots, and there's here's an opportunity coming up in a minute, here. So, if I disable that, put that on. Right. Let's see if there's any good vantage points here. Yeah, that, 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 that looks pretty awesome, that does. I like that. Yeah, that, that looks nice. I like that. Right. Get a few screenshots. Okay. Any other vantage points, maybe? Yeah, maybe this, that looks like a nice one as well. Okay. Right. Okay, I think I'll have to come up with that. Alright, let's carry on. Oh, I've just realised I forgot to put the tower lights on. What a plonker. Oh well. It don't matter. <laughs> Anyway, it's not it's not like a real thing, so it's only a game, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, wow, 73 miles an hour already. That is incredible, man. 75. So, yeah, some some units have a maximum speed of 75, like the class 150 has a maximum speed of 75 miles an hour. So we're going to do it in three phases. So we'll do it with electrical multiple units first. Then we'll probably move on to diesel multiple units. Then we'll do electric locomotives and then diesel locomotives. And maybe if there are a few electro diesels that come out in the future, then maybe we'll do a, a selection of bi mode, different bi mode trains. At the minute, there is only one bi mode train on Train Simulator, and that's the Class 73 by Master Key Simulation and Dovetail Games, because there's two versions there's the Gatwick Express one. Now I have the Gatwick Express one, and there's the Master Key Simulation one that comes with the Class 460 uh, Jupiter or something like that. So I've got the um, Dovetail Games one, so it comes in two different versions, electric or diesel. So the, I'd go for the electric because it works with the diesel side as well. But on diesel, it only works on diesel and doesn't work with the electric one at all. So stay with the diesel side if you would. Anyway, 90 miles an hour now, so we're doing pretty much well here and we've already come to the end of our first lap so we'll have another two laps after this after this one okay there's the start again so we've now got two laps two laps left let's see what speed we can do during the time 94 miles an hour now that is good amazing just coming up to now 95 miles an hour that is pretty amazing if you ask me okay now we've got 96 miles an hour and that's again brilliant slowly going up as I can notice it is slowly slowly going up that is nothing to worry about though because you know it will it will build up speed I know it will anyway 
going into 98 miles an hour now. So that is insane. I don't know if this train will cope with the. Uh, I don't know if this train will actually cope with the the bends quite well because it is like you know leaning to the side a little bit. That's what I've just noticed. It is literally leaning to the sides. Uh, this class 321s by Armstrong Powerhouse, and then obviously there's a Dovetail Games one. So I'd go for the AP one because you've got more liveries, you've got better, more authentic sounds and that with the AP one than the Dovetail Games one. So I own both of them, but I have the Dovetail Games one first in the original first Capital Connect livery. And obviously I've got now the 321 for AP, and you know what, I prefer this one to the. Uh, Dovetail Games one because there's more liveries. You've got the original London Midland one. You've got the Belio Scott Rail. You've got uh, SPT. You've got you've got different liveries. Anyway, we've reached a hundred miles an hour. Let's see what happens. Can we go above it? Can we actually go above hundred miles an hour, or is it just going to stick? Right, hundred and one miles an hour. Right, that's a mile an hour over the permitted speed. That's good though. Let's see if it goes any further. Will it go any further? Well, that was our final lap, so this is our final lap. Let's see what speed we can do now. Now we're up to speed. Right, staying at 101 at the minute. Ooh, is it going to go any higher? Is it actually going to go any higher, or is it actually staying at 101? Looks like it's stuck at 101. Oh dear. Okay, looks like it's not going to uh, probably not go up any further. So last time it was about 133 miles an hour in the class 91, and we're only doing a mile an hour over the actual permitted speed of the 321. But that that is still incredible though. 101 miles an hour is pretty good. Okay, as soon as we approach um, our final part, I'm going to start, you know, applying the emergency brakes some more time, how quick it takes for the brakes to uh, bring the train to a halt. I believe for the class 91, it was about 58 seconds, was it? Yeah, it was about 58 seconds. So, I'm going to use the stopwatch again and we'll, uh, we'll see how long this one takes to stop. Oh, it's gone up by a mile. It's 102 now. 102 miles an hour. I don't think it's going to go any faster now, do you? So, looks like it's 102, which is our top speed at the minute. Okay, as soon as I hit that emergency brake, I'll start the stopwatch and we'll see how long it takes. Right, here's the bridge coming up, so get ready but right, I'm just not gonna go step by step I'm just gonna actually hit the backspace which makes the emergency brake okay here's the junction so as soon as I go over that junction I'm gonna hit the brakes alright I've hit the brakes let's see how quick it takes to stop so 102 miles an hour which is our top speed which is all right wow it looks like it's to a halt pretty quick that is quite quick and it's only just under 20 seconds in and we've already reached around 50 miles an hour which is quite quick okay so 30 seconds in and we're already at 30 miles an hour which is amazing wow no way Okay, so that's just took under 45 seconds, which is amazing. You know, a few seconds earlier than the class 91, because that took 58 seconds. Wow, that was amazing. Brilliant, that was. Right, okay, I'm going to shut everything off. Tail lights on. Right, let's go to the other cab at the other end, and let's do the... Let's uh, set it up and let's get going. You know what? I think today has been a success. 
So that's took under 45 seconds just for the emergency brakes. If you ask me, that is amazing. Right, off we go. Right. Okay, so we're going to leave the test track now and we're going to head back to our platform now. And then that will be the class 321 excluded from today's... Um, that will be the 321 excluded with the 91 so that this can go out ready for service I know it's already in service but yeah it's like we're testing new rolling stock I'm gonna put the wind the windows open because I like to have the windows open feel the wind and that rush by and what we do at the other end we'll put the windows up but you know what that was amazing that was pretty impressed you know I am really impressed with this engine so yeah okay so nothing else we can do now we can just just gently stroll along at 30 miles an hour towards the junction where we'll turn left diverge left towards the west and park our train back into the sidings and then that'll be it for today's episode right Start applying the brakes now. Slow down to 15 miles an hour. Okay, we're at 15. So as we uh, diverge away from the trash, the track now. So we'll take this back to the depot. I believe all our UK locos are tested at the Velim Track Centre in the Czech Republic. I believe. That's where our locomotives are tested in the Czech Republic, the Velim Test Centre. Anyway, we're already at 15.9 miles an hour, so I'm going to cut it off here and let the train coast into the station now. But you know what? That was fabulous. That was 102, so 2 miles an hour above the permitted speed. So, pretty cool if you ask me, that's amazing. Okay, so, not else we can do now, just, just gotta give it a chance now just to bring the train to a stop. There we are, we're on the line now between the test track and station, and obviously there's the 91 up ahead. What I might do, no, 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 we're just gonna take it, we'll just take it straight into the station and park it up so that's the class 91 and 321 excluded now so we've only got three locos left to test we've got the 315 the 390 and the 313 left to test so comment below which one you want me to drive next so will that be the class 315 for TFL rail or transport for London rail will that be the class 390 Pendolino or for Virgin Trains or will we that be the class 313 for Great Northern could be Abelia Great Northern or is it no it's Govia Great Northern yeah Govia Great Northern so transport for London class 315 the class 390 for Virgin or uh, Govia Great Northern 313 so comment below which one you want just say the number so for example, comment below 315, 390, or 313. So, yeah, that's all. Just, just all, that's all you have to do. Just, just comment below which number you want. And then the most counted ones will be featured in the next episode. Okay, so as we slowly pull in, pull in now towards the uh, station now. So. They're all the points of sex I've checked, so I haven't messed with the points, so we'll be all right. Okay, right. I guess this is coming to the end now for the three one, three two one. So yeah, what we'll do, we'll have a quick blast on the horn. Okay, that'll just be a warning, just to let them know I'm coming in.
Okay, just going to start braking lightly now to 10 miles an hour. And then we can just pull up slowly into the station and we can bring the train to a gentle stop. What I might do before I proceed on, I'm going to get the Class 315 Transport for London branding patch because obviously I've, I've installed the branding patch with AP and obviously it hasn't appeared because I think uh, license issues I think so I have seen a re um, a, pa a branding patch on is it I don't know if it's Alan Thompson's sim but I, was di I did see one somewhere and it had the branding for the 315 actually you know what I think that might have been Vulcan Productions you know because I think that's where I saw it on Vulcan Productions so I'll go on Vulcan Productions and get that patch and then we've got the branding on the side but anyway as we slowly pull into the station now uh, the 321 is now ready for service. So I'm going to pull the windows up. Okay, windows are up. And let's bring it to a stop. <laughs> right, bring it down to 5 miles an hour. And while we'll, uh, there goes the air compressors again. Obviously, we don't need to worry about the air compressors because the brakes will still work with them. With them. Okay, and we'll just stop just before the buffers. All right, make a gentle application here. We'll line it up just just before the buffers coming up now. Okay, we have arrived. Right, I'm going to turn everything off. Okay, oh, oh, I need to pull the windows up. I've got to do it on this side before we swap tents. Okay, DRA back on because this train won't be moved now. And for the final bit, we'll lower the pantograph. Okay. Here we go, here's the pantograph. So if I press shift P, there you go, pantograph is down. Okay, so there you go. And that'll do for today's video. So that's the 321 and the class 91 set uh, excluded from the test. So we've only got three locos remaining now, so we have got the transport for London 315 and I will try and get a branding patch for, installed for this so that's one that needs to be done yet so 315 the 390 Pendolino obviously that's another one and we've got a Govia Great Northern class 313 obviously as you can tell the 313 and the 315 are similar so yeah obviously there's here X First Capital Connect with the Great Northern livery on. Anyway, so those are our three remaining locos. So comment below which one you want. And uh, that'll be it for today. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Yeah, at least we didn't have a derailment like in the last episode. <laughs> but anyway, um, thank you for watching, and I shall see you all later. Take care, guys, and I'll see you soon. Terra.